G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where we've just placed down our worst horde in a long time, in Infection. Look, I could use some really flowery and uh, excitable language to describe how badly everything just went for me, but all you need to know is that it was just the worst. The horde base that I tried to build for myself, admittedly I'll put my hand up and pretend like I'm willing to take responsibility for it. In reality, absolutely not. It was definitely Trader Jen's or Arlene's fault, actually. It's always Arlene's fault. The base I built for myself with about two minutes to spare before the horde didn't work. I built it wrong and the zombies ignored it. They tore through my Rapunzel tower base like it was made out of wet tissue paper. And basically, rearranged all my organs so that now most of my internals are going the other way. Fortunately, I heard you can actually swallow when you're upside down. I'm putting that to the test for sure. But this morning, the traders have restocked. I have to go and try and buy myself some mushrooms to get some antibiotics going. But there's still all... Oh my goodness. All of the loot bags that got left behind from the horde scattered about the place. There's one there. There's more inside. The building across the road has burnt to cinders and I'm not especially sad to see it go. That's a call in a whole bunch of screamers though. Screamers, horde knights, broken horde bases. It was a time for time to put that behind us and hopefully get prepared for the next one. As always, the rewards you get for doing a horde knight do not balance out to the resources you spend to do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they have ransacked the joint. Although in fairness, of all the things that could have happened today, that's actually not too bad. So it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 blocks. 14 like integral blocks got destroyed. I can actually probably put that together or back together relatively well without too much uh, without too much of an issue. You can go like there and there. Just use that to... <laughs> Remember how to breathe and get up and get the rest of my gubbins. Nothing in there. There's my concrete and my cobblestone and whatnot. And in fact, now I've already taken my uh, my nail gun back home, so if we get any repairs today, put you straight in my face. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you, and the rest of that's all fine. So that's all I got. That's all I got in all those loot bags. Basically, entirely nothing. So maybe it's not wood after all. No, it's not. Okay, it's just painted to look like wood. I was going to say, I threw many a Molotov down here, hoping that would turn into just a sustained zombie fire that I could take advantage of and watch them all burn from up the top. But wasn't to be, not even one little bit, nor was my little base out here meant to be. That didn't work for me either. Everything I tried to throw at the horde last night didn't work. The bullets didn't work. Me running around and trying to survive didn't work. It was just all a big kettle of fish just getting shaken up by a storm. Any more bags around? Nah. Okay, well, I'm going to head back home. It is trade and restock day, and I need to go buy some mushrooms for my antibiotics, so that needs to take precedence. But for the next week, I need to be focused for once in my life. I need to get a proper horde base built before day 28. I know it's me saying that, like me staying focused on a task for more than three seconds is always a big ask of me, but this time I'm serious. This time I'm definitely 100%, 1000% not gonna get distracted. So uh, please put your predictions on how long it will take for me to get distracted and do something completely irrelevant to survive in the horde down below. I will take you with me, take both of me and go and sell it. It's trade restock day after all, so might even pop a sugar butts and see what's what. Speaking of, there you all are in there and you'll put you somewhere safe. All right, nice, good. It's half past seven, the traders are awake. I hope they've heard about my heroics last night because there was a lot of it. Spent half the night on the ground with no stamina trying to fight the zombies face to fist. It was awful. I may as well, before I go and say day to my sweetheart, Jen, I might, like, oh, that's a doggo. Doggo, please. Oh, he knows I'm here. He's up and about. He's not going to follow me out into the desert. Uh, before I go and see Jenny Girl, I'll go and do the job for him. Can't show up empty-handed. You know, it's been a little while since she was nice to me. She might need something uh, shiny or flower smelly -y to get her back on my side. Here we go. There's the marker. Give you a little nudge and let's get in and out before another wandering horde shows up. Oh, yeah. There was a wandering horde right before the horde last night as well. The game threw everything at me last night, and somehow I'm still here to tell the tale. Oh, that's a cop. Ow! That's an iron oh, feral, too. A cop and a feral. All right, tier three. Um, oh, oh, a bad vulture, maybe? Oh, oh, that was very close to me nose. Hold on. Hold on. Go away and go away. I didn't bring any of my shotgun ammo with me. 
dodge that. I've got a sprained leg, so I'm even slower than before. Uh, what's the plan, Joshy boy? Not a good time for that. Not a good time for that. Got to dodge it. Nice. And then wait for it. Then. Nice. He's gone. Take my bolt back. That's really... Stay away from my bike, you dickhead. Huh. So, the first lot of zombies that spawned from digging up the treasure has gone very badly for me. I have a... Is it a leg or an arm? A sprained leg. Okay, no more sprinting. But it's spawning ferals and coppers and I didn't bring shotgun ammo. And I have no 7.62 for my... Uh, oh, I have 20. I found 20. All right, that'll do. Better than nothing. Idiot. <laughs> how do I... How am I always so unprepared? I really wish I could use the splint to fix my sprain. You can only use it on brakes, which is very bloody annoying. I didn't bring any steroids with me. And because of the new way that buried supplies uh, quests work, I can't actually leave to go and get any more. Quickly put you down because I just do not need to deal with you right now. All right, this time I'm going to stay near the surface. And when the circle comes in, I'm going to quickly jump on my bike and get a little bit of distance. Just try and maneuver that as best I can. Oh, if a, if a copper freaking vomits on my bike and I lose it, I'm going to be very, very upset. You, please. Nah. Going to hurt my leg a little bit. Dodge it. Okay, I don't think there's any ferals, so I might be okay. Drop you. Just make sure you're not anywhere near my motorcycle. Ow! That hurt. That hurt and infected me quite a lot. You need to die. Gone. You need to die. Gone. Okay, my infection is getting way, way, way out of hand. Oh, jeez, I need to get on top of that. I really need to get on top of that. And so I'm getting punched in the face by gurgitations. Found the yellow circle. Don't want to go too deep. I don't have to... Oh! All right, don't have to try and get out of the hole. Oh, then I'm going to. But now I've got the box. I can actually just get up, jump on the bike and leave. Uh, yeah, sure. Nice, grab that up and out of the hole. You're going to break your ankle a little bit, but it's going to be worthwhile. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Who's here? Is it worth me staying and fighting? I don't think so. Without any shotgun ammo, without any 762 ammo, with a sprained leg and 35% infection, I'm just going to go back to my little bunker in the sky, chuck in some steroids. I can have a spare one somewhere. It's worthwhile. Chuck in a health bar as well. I buy them all the time for exactly this reason. And not pop an extra steroids. Because what have I got? I've got 15 and I'm up at 35. So it's going to get me down to 20. And maybe a whole other extra antibiotics, actually. Jeez, I'm really playing with fire. And not just like the spreadable kind, the other kind too. I wonder if health bars mean that my uh, my antibiotics last longer or my infection heals twice as quick as well. That's actually something I hadn't tested nor considered. Uh, where are they? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Right there. So... Armor crit resist plus natural crit healing, 200%. Okay, so it's 34% at the moment. It doesn't really give me a time. There's no real way for me to tell. I'll chuck you in. That's going to give me... Uh, to remove all the effects of my sprained leg, but... That's very interesting, actually. I wonder if it does heal twice as quick. I'm going to avoid chucking in another antibiotic to see how this goes. Because it should end up at near enough exactly 20%. All I have to do is just not get punched in the face for, like, the rest of the day while that's working. <laughs> simple. Keep it bloody simple. On the way out there, I'm going to swing past the vendors and restock anything that I might need. Park up next to the picnic benches. You've got health bar. Thank you very much. Clearly very much in need of those. Very, very curious how it's going to play out with the infection thing, but we're about to find out. Take you. Don't need frothies as much as I might like it. I will not take the dog food. I have some. I like. Can I take the dog food? Would like to make myself some, like, extra learning lists and things down the track. Shouldn't I survive that, <laughs> that long? It's always hard to try and plan ahead when I'm pretty not certain of surviving till tomorrow, but... You gotta pretend like you're gonna and just hope for the best. Might be worth me taking some skull crushes, actually. I'll take you. I'll take the sugar bites. I'll take an eye candy. And I'll take the hackers. All right, I've spent like $800 on snacks. So it's a regular Friday night for me, but that's all right. Got a whole bunch in me pockets, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Go and sit in the movie theater and sneak it all in, jingling away like a gigantic pack of nerds. Jenny girl. How are you? You got the Dukes. I'll make the time. I had play more a second ago, Good but to be honest with you, this you thing is going to get better be bloody worthwhile because I, <gasps> I very nearly died for it. That, oh. 
here's the thing. I can now make herbal antibiotics for the cost of mushrooms. Four mushrooms for like $20 redos will give me the four herbal antibiotics. And actually, before I do that, two skill points to spend. No! Fuck you, insect. I hate the insect tree. Why everything else is tier five is level three. The other level three of something by getting a tier five. But look, if I go into here, tier three of you, tier five. That's the whole way it works, the whole way across the board. But intellect decides to be fucking different because it wants to be smart and it ruins everything. So I can't buy the next level of you. Would it give me another choice of rewards? That's not the, that's not the double dip. Not quite there. I'd love to have that at some point though, but all right, never mind then. Dicks. All right, Here's well. Your pay for a job well that's the most tempting one because it's worth a thousand dollar reduce. You doing 110 for cost of 31 compared to. Oh. You're actually worth nowhere near as much as because you have a couple of mods inside you. If I take the mods out of you, I'm really, really paying attention to this and trying to make Amazing. the right decision. I hope you like your. So you're only worth 400 bucks without you. But I could take a better axe. The lever action rifle. Not that I'm really going to use. Oh man, I could use it. Instead of the AK? I mean, a gun's a gun. That's a pretty good fucking gun to have. Hold on a second. I reckon the no-brainer option here is quickly chuck in you. That's fine. Have a little you chat. Not take my reward just yet. Adventurer. Quickly sell you all good of job. this. All of that and all of that. So I've got twenty two hundred dollars reduced to spend and more coming in a moment. Do you have? Do not have mushrooms. Do you have? Uh, what are they called? Nerdy gogs. You do not. Do you have anything? Anything at all that's actually going to help me, Jen? Got another beaker. I don't need that. I've already got a spare one. You got gunpowder. I'll actually buy you without thinking. Bullet tips as well. Bullet casings because ammo production is now basically priority number one. Nothing else in here. Awesome sauce. No, thank you. Machine gun parts. No, 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 no. Antibiotics. A thousand dollars a pop now. I didn't raise the prices on it. That was before I realized just how often I was getting battered in the cheeks. I can only afford one even if I wanted them. I do want them. I have to wait for them. Blueberry seeds. Yeah, okay. Because it'll come in handy for making herbals. And not much else. Check your secret stash. Art of mining. Lantern book. And nothing else there. All right, I'm shit out of luck. I'm shit out of luck. I'm Thanks going me to. Good job. I knew you could do it. Trust my gut. My. Mm, <laughs> I said that I almost didn't. I think going with the better tool, especially a steel tool, is the best option. Then it's not the most valuable for dollar redos. It's not antibiotics, which is obviously the crux of everything. But good tools are hard to come by. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I keep trying to convince myself of one of these things, and I can't even convince myself. I don't know what the right option is. Now, I've decided it's going to be Steel Axe because the lever action is great, but I have a compy crossbow. I already have a top-tier item for relatively long-range engagements, plus I'm specking into it as well. There's a Derpo coming in. Quickly chuck in you and you. Uh, Jen, I will sell you this one. Here you go. Take that off my hands. That's the better one. Nice. Okay. No whackers, knackers. Got any good jobs for me? T3 bread supplies. Fair clear zombies fetch. That's next door. No, thank you. Bread supplies, bread supplies. I might actually do another bread supplies. It was bad. It was bad because I got my leg broken and I have no stamina. If I can avoid having those problems, it'd be much, much better. Jen, did you see? There it is. Out that way. I'm going for it. I'll go and see Rector Bobby Boy in a second. I've got seven minutes left on my um my sugar butts, but Dirt Bro takes precedence. It may be nothing in it, but it's worth a squeeze. Having a decent motorcycle makes such a difference, dude. It would have taken me 18 years to pedal my sorry self out here before, but now I've got the power of pterodactyls. I can fly out of here. There's the box. Oh, flops. I did my best to avoid running over you. I swerved, and you just kept making a beeline or a rabbit line directly from me front tire. Pull up out the front. You're... Very much interested in me for the first time ever. A bird is excited to get close to me. I stuck my little knife into it and knocked her out cold. Arlene, hope you're watching that. 
Oh, it just it just confirms I made the right decision. Antibiotics, thank you. Malay mods bundle. Open you. Can't do much with most of you. I see ya. I see there's plenty of me to go around. There we go. There's no one. I'll actually take the feathers out of ya. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Arlene, you're not covered in feathers, but I'll happily stab another bird in the face. Look at me, very popular today. While I'm out here and parked up, I'm just gonna quickly grab myself a couple of bits of aloe. Got 20 of them, so for myself any cloth fragments, I can start my production on first aid bandos, which to be honest with ya, I should have started a long ass time ago. A long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickawoodle. I should have been making bloody first aid bandos from day dot when I first got my uh, my point into physician. But that's now done. Five minutes left on my, um, whatchamacallit, on my sugar butts. We'll go see Wreckers first, then go see Bobby Boy. One of us. One of us has to have mushrooms. It's the last thing I need. Please. Another health bar in you. I've got the dosh to buy. Thank you very much. Good to see that somehow Wrecked fought off the horde. Although, if we're being honest with ourselves, it's because... Look, even, even Wrecked is partial to a cheeky bit of cheddar every now and again. Welcome using a bit Joe. of cheese. I don't guarantee a thing. I guarantee Except that you were like just as bad as me. Don't you get up on your high horse. It's a long way down. Right. Marsh. Damn it. No mushrooms. I thought for a second now, I thought some nerdy glasses. But it might be, but... I'll take the acid. They're rare and I need them. Lockpicks, no. Gunpowder, yes. Stun button, absolutely bloody not. Corn seeds, no. Did you have any other uh, bullet maker materials at all there, champion? No, you didn't. You've got a bunch of sand. I live in the desert, but no, thank you. Golden rod, no. Wow. Oh, I did. I thought I saw a putty cat and I fucking did. I have to. I, I have to. It's absolutely worthwhile. It's two and a half grand. It's almost all of my dosh, but I desperately need those. If I find a spare pair in a little bit, so be it. I'd rather guarantee it. What about in your secret stash? Lucky looter. Find more lead in loot. Four grip mod schematics. Snow volume seven. High power 762s. Bow parts, handlebars. Nothing but disappointment. A sale is a sale. Sure is, buddy boy. Like now that I've got those XP gogs on, I can buy the next level daring adventure. So the next job that I do, even more perks again. And actually got a point to spare, which I'm going to put into... Mm, pain tolerance. Pain tolerance? Healing factor. Cardio. Iron gut. Fuck, I need like all of them. Iron gut. I made it to Bobby with two minutes left. Oh, sweet drifties. Made it to Bobby boys with two minutes left on my sugar butts, which is lovely, lovely. Anything in you? Mm, no, I won't say that. I have some jailbreakers already, and I'm really on funds at the moment, so don't want to spend it for no reason. Right, you better have some better guns for me. The last one on the list, so if you make it worth my while, you might go somewhere near the tippy top. Not quite above Jen. The only thing on top of Jen is going to be me. Uh, bullet casings. Yes, please. Nitro powder. No. Still no mushrooms. Still no sodden mushrooms. How are they so hard to find? I checked the secret stash and I saw the Barb Rolling book and I'm so I've just, I'm so like soon out of fist only two that I got that little pang, that little fizz of excitement thinking it's something that I needed but wasn't to be. Uh, nothing in ya. Nothing in ya. I spent all my money anyway. All right. Gratitude. Gratitude to you too, although you didn't really have anything for me. Okay, what's the time? It's 20 to 3. I need to refuel a motorcycle. Hold on, grab you. Quickly chuck all that into them. Jeez, I'm running out of fuel. I'm running out of fuel. I do have extra a car yard. Maybe we're going and breaking down all like the shells of the cars. Still gives me some gas, not much, but some. So, might be worthwhile restocking them. That's... What building is that, actually? What building are you? I might have to prioritize the mushroom hunt, the fungus hunt. If I can find the JW house, that's where a whole lot of them live in the basements. That's not one. Oh, where would it be? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I need to go on the look -see. I need to go on the trot and try and find it because my needs are mighty. That's not it either. It does have a very peaky roof, just like that one. Mind the car, please. But it isn't that one. Maybe the play is just to find somewhere that has, like, a basement. And probably a vanilla POI. I'm really trying to, like, think my way through it. But vanilla POIs, I think, in most of the things that are underground, most of them have at least one mushy growing somewhere. And 
I only need 102 or 3 or 4. Like, I'm not really that desperate for it because look. And look, I give it a center here. That's one mushroom. One solitary mushroom. And I can make myself herbal antibiotics, which will give me the last couple that I need. Which, by the way, doing a pretty good job of not getting punched in the face by zombies. We're down to 26% now. Still really curious about the, uh, the health bar experiment. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, I almost did it again. I almost did it again. I came all the way out to the quest. I haven't gone home yet to go and grab myself the shotgun rounds, which I really should have done immediately after the last fiasco that I had to deal with. Well, <laughs> here we go. Back home we go. My little Rapunzel tower base standing lovely over there, beckoning me back home. I reckon tonight, instead of curling up in a ball up in my normal base, I might go out to Rapunzel's tower and start digging out the floor. There's a lot of work to be done that isn't particularly interesting. So if I can do some construction overnight, that sounds like a pretty good win to me. Oh, I need to plant you somewhere. Shit. You know what, actually, as I reload my precious shotgun, that was a pretty dismal trader trip. Like, I spent all of my money, I know, but there wasn't anything good in there. There wasn't any eggs, there wasn't any honeys, wasn't any mushrooms, just real thin pickings across the board. So a little bit out of here going on that one. Bit of a question mark about who they ordered that stock for, because it sure as shit wasn't me. And how many other survivors are there out here? Maybe there's more. Maybe there's living out in the dunes out here. Wait until I let me guard down. Make sure you are loaded. Make sure you are loaded. And you are loaded with basically no ammo. But all right then. Give you a tickle. Let's get cracking on. Let's start in the southwest like we usually do. Right about then. And see if we can find this place. The first wave of zombies are on their way. You're the long one out. Get you bleeding. None of you guys are ferals, though. The last time, the first run was a bunch of cops and ferals and whatnot. Unfortunately, this time is a little bit more manageable. Drop you. I heard a dingo, but he's fine. He's not too close to me. Arlene. No, if it is something to cuddle up against, this is about as uh, comforting as I'm ever going to be to you again. Oh, for goodness sake. Ow! Dingo. Dingo. Dingo, no. Oh, you cheeky bitch. All right, so I got gobbled a little bit. Even though Dingo's a live animal, it does still give me an infection, so that sucks. Still time for me to figure it out, though. Oh, I reckon it would have. I don't know what I was before the Dingo nibbled me, but... Well, what? Uh, it's probably 3%. I think it's usually 3%, so that would... I, I reckon health bar would have done something. I'll have to check in post and check what the numbers said before old mate had a slice of pie, but... Okay. Okay, there's potential there. Oh, did I find it? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I did. Buried supplies. Give me you, please. All right, just grab and go. I actually got really lucky in that... Oh, I actually put you on first. Don't be stingy with the first aid bandage, Josh. You live in the desert, you can make some more. But really lucky that it was just directly in line with the hole I first dug into. Didn't have to go anywhere different. That's a spider. And a soldier. No one looks feralized, which is good. Get you bleeding. And just let the bleeding do as much as you possibly can. Cuddle the cactus. Sit. Arlene actually is straight up cuddle the cactus. Bounce on a bit more of your speed, Arlene. Didn't quite sit you. Come away from the motorcycle, please. No one touch me ride. Drop. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, bit too early on the swing. Catch you later, Arles. Sit you down. There's a nice freshly dug grave for you. It's all if you're over here if you really want it. Don't swing. There we go. I just need to rely on the bleeding more. I don't really do it very often, but I need to do it more often than I was. Oh, come on. That's like three stabs. There it is. <laughs> I was going to say. All right, bud. Yep, it's all yours. Enjoy your new home. Oh, there's a... There's a stormwater drain here. It's just started raining. Going into drains when it's raining is a terrible idea. That's a fantastic way to very suddenly drown. But underground area underground area might have hello, traveler. hello jenny girl might have some mushrooms i'm after well an even better axe than before a bar pulling book i no longer need some pop bombs steel titty covers awesome vitamins easy no brainer absolutely the steel axe grab myself that xp goggles great bloody decision by me i will take you i'll quickly change you over immediately still got two mod slots so that's fine modify you in you go uh, Jen, can you cook and buy this one off me? I don't know if sugar what's going on at the moment though. I might actually wait till later then. Never mind. Uh, nothing this time. Uh, look, it's been a bit of a hard day for me, to be honest. Give me 
Buried supplies, fetch quests. Give me that one, I actually, because I do want to go on a bit oh, of a trundle through a the southern one. city, to, see if um, I can find a JW yeah, house. Because I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to go through the, uh, the drain over here first. I don't have a lot of idea of what I'm walking into. Is that something? That's a ladder. That's a ladder going up into that room over there. So there's not a lot of undergroundness to this. Not a whole lot of subterranean, but I'll give it a squeeze anyway. Use a brand new axe to pop you. Just a bag. Any mushrooms? No? Okay. That's fine. There's surely going to be some zombies around here somewhere, though. That's locked. Some embers and a bedroll and not really much more. Hello? Hey, buddy. Don't know why you left a bedroll here and died in a cupboard, but all right, you do you. Not going to question it too much. I'm going to take out your knees, though. Down into the sewers where... Oh, no, there is no sign of any mushies. Right, uh, I do have... I got one empty glass jar. Let me... Okay, that was like a scene out of a B-grade horror film. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> they may be legless, but they're still very much able to doggy paddle their way around. Fortunately, relatively weak. Sit you down as well. Maybe you guys were guard guarding the marshes while I'm swimming through the freaking maple syrup. I hate the water. I hate the water so much. Well, that was a bit of a bust. No mushies there to speak of, nor anywhere. So I'm going to take my leave and start heading back down into the southern town again. So where have, I, where have I seen the JW house before? It's usually like the residential area of the towns. So not the farms, not like the main CBD, but the in-between bit, the suburbs. Don't know why I thought I needed to explain that because I'm pretty sure you all know what a suburb is. Well, have a little look around. Anything that looks... Oh, there's the honey farm. I wish. Anything that looks like it might have the chance to have a basement is probably a pretty good shout. Why does this tiny house look so suspect to me? It's like, it's just out on its own, doing absolutely nothing. Good shot, me. Why are you here with nothing else around? Oh, with a very big footprint. That's way too big a footprint for a little house like you. I feel like this is absolutely going to be a death trap. Nah, I don't trust it. I don't trust compo pack PLIs. I'll come back and have a look at you another time, but now is not the moment. Oh, but it is the moment. That little outhouse there looks like it's got a well underneath. Call it intuition, call it what you like. I think I've been to one of these POIs a long time ago. This is the one with like the the fake hatch at the bottom of the of the thing. Yeah, it is too. Yeah, it is too. Oh god. Oh, you're fast. You're fast. You're not loaded. Dickhead Josh. Dickhead Josh. He's dead. Don't go in the water, you pelican. You're not an ocean bird. Alright, bring him out here. Yeah, okay. I reckon there is some mushrooms in here. He's going to find them. I think the last time that I was here, which was like... I might have even been Darkness Falls, I think it was, like a long time ago. This little hatch down here was locked. Yeah, and led to nothing. But last it was locked and there was like... I beat, the, I beat the thing to death over a long period of time and got nothing out of it. All right, I think... I think I found... Um, I think I found Arlene's bedside table. So that's another bit of a very small area filled with about as many snakes as you could possibly fit into them. As many noodles as possible. All right, fair enough, Arlene. You do you, I suppose. I feel like I've been replaced, but I will not get hung up on that too much. That's a lie, but whatever. Harvest you. Thank you very much. Who's got some mushrooms? Mm, what did I tell you? <laughs> What did I tell you? I spent two and a half grand on I was like, I know. I know that buying this is almost certainly guaranteeing that I will find some in some loot now. And sure as shit, there you go. Chalk that up to yet another instance of this game very clearly being sentient. Uh, a book I've already read. First at Bandos, Baton Parts. Thank you. Oh, that's frustrating. I hate to admit it. As much as I thought I was on to something, my intuition was apparently very wrong because by the looks of things... No sign of any underground area. Got one more place to go through, which I th I have a feeling has a zombie bear inside it. 
My infection is now back up and ticking up at 24%. Didn't even get under 20, though. In fairness, I had a couple of pretty average run-ins. Hold on. Hold your collars. Hit you on the breathe up. Yeah, I can hear some more. I can hear him gurgle. That's fine. I'll deal with that in a moment. Hmm. Yeah. This is, um... Look, yesterday and today, not good days by any stretch. Ah, shit. No, not outside. Inside? Somewhere? Well, if you're in there, let me know. I can't get to you otherwise. Oh, here's a feral boy. Well, unfortunately for you, regardless of how glowing and bright your eyes are, your future is rather dim because I have the power of a knife and a reachy deachy arm and a little window to look through. Come a little closer. Oh, don't start crawling. That's way too scary. There you go. Nice, Gary. Bowl and chain. Let's get inside because it's, oh, geez, it's almost bloody night time. Today has gone so exceptionally quickly and I need to skedaddle rather quick. Please be no one else waiting for me in here. Get the shotgun out just in case, though. We should be relatively fine. Piss that off. Grab you back instead. You can go. I'll quickly break you down. Is that all she wrote? Are we done? Are we good here? I hope so. There is nothing at all in here, so we're good to rock and roll. I was going to say nice, but not especially nice, actually, all things considered. I could have done with a couple more rewards for my hard yakka. I suppose my reward at the moment is just the fact that I'm still alive. That's a cool looking building out there too. It's a very big, like that's, that's too big for me to go and live in. That's too big of an apartment block to make mine. That's why that one over there is so appealing. It looks like an old Brooklyn warehouse or something, which I fucking froth the aesthetic of. Exposed brick in the big warehouse windows. Gib, 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 gib every day of the week. But I am way too cowardly to try and take on any more today. So I'm going to wedge my fluffy tail directly between my legs and scamper back home while I still have legs to use. Made a home right on the dot. Not going to reverse in. Don't have time. Is there anything in you, actually? Couple of bits of food. I'm going to take you and I'll take you and you. I'll quickly refill this one. There you go. I do have a chem station, but I don't think I have the schematic for a gas can. Although I think I get that as soon as I put a point into... Uh, what was it monkey? Grease monkey. Craft basket pass, craft wheels and basket parts cheaper. Do any of you more efficient sacks of gas? I thought I thought it was just any of them. Hang on a second. Hang on a bleeding second. You gas. Gas can hidden behind the grease monkey. Because it's in there somewhere. I thought it was level one. It may just it may be just not say so. Fair enough then. I'm gonna use my brand spanking new red nerdy gogs. You can go into the sellables box. You can take that and that and both of those. Those ones too. Anything else to sell? Not really. Most of the stuff has some sort of use to me. Just not especially much right now. Gonna grab myself some antibiotics, chuck them in, and I'm gonna bank that that did actually do something. Chuck in a health bar or two actually as well. It's a big gamble with no evidence that it's gonna pay off, but we'll see how it goes. So that's going to tick away all night. I didn't want to stay here tonight, though. I will take both of those, put them in my face, and get over to Rapunzel's castle. I need to grab myself some repair kits. Got my shovel, got my pickaxe. Let's go and start tunneling. Come on, I need you to grow. Grow up big and strong. I need to eat you all. I didn't bring the gubs to repair any of the walls, but that's okay. It's mainly the interior here that I'm most interested in. But one, two, three. So we've got like a nice... Three by three block in the middle, but I reckon if I go five by five, so from this one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I've got a nice five by five square that isn't impacted by the walls of the building. There's a little bit of lip around the outside, but that's okay. A nice big chute here, gotta dig it all out and start digging down and build myself a nice little this is a nice little bit of really big sarcophagus the zombie death. I'm going to try and do it on the quiet. If I keep my headlight off and just swing away, then only I get less than 50% visibility, so that's all good. What's underneath you? Just regular sand? Oh, regular sand. Okay. Nice. I'm thinking like a 5x5 five five hole with a ring around the outside of concrete, so that's actually going to be 7x7, seven seven, which is a big bloody build, but... Should be worthwhile in the long run. At least I bloody hope so it's going to be. Right down the middle of this place here. 
That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. At least it better bloody be good. I wasn't doing all this for nothing. Well, I'll have to come back and hopefully not do this for nothing. I'll dig this all up between episodes and then come back, do that job for Jen, try and find some mushrooms, get some antibiotics going, because I'm getting the dick kicked out of me right now, which is not a lot of fun. Well, I'll have to come back and hopefully have some fun in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the page the patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure hit the like button down below subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter but i'll talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one